dancehall artist Stefa heads in a new musical direction and comes to our stage with details. The goal was to become the biggest DJ in all the tri-state. Jamaican singer, songwriter, actor, producer Ruben Shaw chats his latest film, The Selector. BRT weekend. BRT. Our review of BRT Weekend Jamaica, weekend number one. Woodstock Nigga's boss tells why he stages three reggae shows. All coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams. Farewell celebration for Aston Francis Barrett. Was held at the National Indoor Sports Center in Kingston on Tuesday, March 5th. Aston Family Man Barrett is a legendary Jamaican musician and bass player. Known for his work with the Whalers as well as his contribution to reggae music worldwide. <laughs> Family Man played a significant role in shaping the Whalers' iconic sound and the development of reggae as a genre. His innovative bass lines and musical arrangements have earned him a revered place in reggae history. to support Roots Reggae's preservation movement. Come on, give it up for Woodstock. Woodstock, the grill owner Damien Powell stages a weekly free admission reggae show. Hey. He dubs Live Reggae Thursday. Oh. That features brand name artists. Yeah. On stage visited the beachfront property on Thursday, February 29, where Johnny Clark was the headliner. Hey for Reggae Thursday of that week. This Woodstock concert this, this is concert. helping to preserve the music. Of course, man, because remember, you know, we, want, we, 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 say, we want to say reggae music is forever. So it, the person who can contribute will make it be forever. I love it also. And keep the flag eyes and keep it going. We have to be enough a whole lot of respect to them. That's why I can even be here tonight. And and really, I mean, being here tonight, it's benefit. It's all about some kind of a benefit because food after the power table. We give thanks so would would stop make that possible. What made you want to do? Well, having this beautiful place, you know, entertainment is a part of it, and niggle, that's what it brings for years. So I decided to do it on a Thursday, and it's been going on for a couple of years now. But what happened, a lot of locals don't know about us, so we'd like to invite the locals on a Thursday, live reggae, reggae music old school original, you know? Because mm -hmm. a lot of tourists are here, but we need the, the native to know about it. I don't think they know much about it. So and it's all free, it's all free, right? Yes, free. Free, well secured. And part of your mission is the, is the preservation of the music, I'm told? Yes, sir, most definitely. Because, you know, it's been dying out, getting a little bit too hardcore, you know? Mm -hmm. So. 
we have to keep the original and keep the reggae music alive. And a lot of people have been coming to Negril for years for that. So we want to keep it. How do you impact tourism in Negril? As this event? Well, Negril has been here for a long time and it's known for reggae, live reggae shows. All those original, when I was young, all those original people like Gregory Isaac, Dennis Brown, I used to come there and we could see them close up. So this is a place where you come and see great entertainment and you see the artists real close, you know. It's not like those big shows where they are distance away, you know. So because when you come to Negril, that's what you expect, live reggae music, you know. And it's changing a bit, but we have to keep it alive. And it's, it needs more input from the tourist board and from higher places like the hoteliers, you know, to support us. We need to have the greatest show on the Seven Mile Beach. So for me to do that, I need more sponsors because there's no entry fee. When there's no entry fee, sometimes it's a bit hard, you know, because we need the patrons come. That's why I want on stage to tell the world about Woodstock, not just tell them, to sh show them and so that they know what we offer, you know. They'll join the crew, you know. I just need you, my friend. <laughs> if you're at home on a Thursday and, you know, you want something to do and you're in the, you know, just come and check out Woodstock and, you know. And it's all and free. friends. All free. And all free, man. And you're the best show. And you're talking about real roots one drop reggae. That's right. With some of the, 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 the living icons who have That's created right. the music initially. It's so funny, you know, like I I would like to bring artists that are what do you say you now, like real artists that have their own music, you know? But I don't like a gate or a fence. So I like some sponsors where we could bring them even once a month on a Thursday, you know, and then we put up a, well, a donation box. I don't like a gate, mm -hmm. but when people come there, they, they, I, I want to entertain them, but it costs to entertain them, you understand? So when they come here, you just patronize the place, buy some drinks and have a great time, you know? Bring your family and friends. So that's your concept. That, that, that's yes. a concept that you want, you, you're doing. Yes, that's I, what you're doing now and right. want to continue and I, I to I want do. to continue it. Okay. Yeah. And so you're calling on, again, you're calling on? Tourist board, mm -hmm. hoteliers, our owners, you know, to give us rooms so we could house the, um, the entertainers. Just give us the rooms, yeah. send your guests to be entertained, come outside and enjoy well secured we have officers here you understand so we are well secured so they could send the guests out and everything will be good we have so much to offer is karaoke on tuesdays retro saturdays we have a, um, a, a weekly event you know and then the beach speaks for itself seven miles of beach speak a little bit about the name woodstock because well, it's so funny, you know. Woodstock. That, that was one of the reasons I named it Woodstock. Two reasons. One, I'm fascinated with, if you can look up the artwork and the thing, Hood. Mm. And Woodstock from the old hippie days. It relates mm. with me, you know. And as you see, it's a natural built place with wood, lumber, and then we are, it's going to be a gallery soon. Art gallery, you see all these pieces. But it is already, yeah, yeah. in my view. That's right. It's a gallery. You know, so mm -hmm. people just come and view. In, you know, come and view. That's what they do. And you see the sun? When you come to Woodstock, I'm asking you to put your toes in the sun and compare, but don't swear. <laughs> compare the beach and the sun, yes. but don't swear. Okay? Compare, <laughs> compare with what? With, with what the sun. Yeah. With any other beach. Anywhere. Yes. Even, even my neighbor's even beach. <laughs> even my neighbor's beach. The Seven Mile Beach. Okay. Yes. Put your toes in the sun yes. and twinkle them. And compare the sun with any other beach. Please. So have you done something special to your sun? I didn't understand that. God, see, my phone is telling you, you didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's great. That's strange. <laughs> I wouldn't contest that. <laughs> okay, um, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's great having you here. Okay. It's great being here. Yeah, man. And the still to come right here on our stage. Dancehall artist Sifa heads in a new musical direction. Jamaican actor, songwriter, singer, producer Ruben Shaw charts his newest film, The Selector, our review of BRT Weekend Jamaica, weekend number one. All coming up right here on our stage. We'll be right back. On stage with Winford Williams. Jamaican actor, singer, songwriter, producer Ruben Shaw was recently in Jamaica to screen his latest movie, The Selector, and sat down with us right here on our stage in an interview that you will be seeing for the first time. Hey, yo! The white man needs to see you right now! Man, don't you say I'm working? Man, forget that work stuff. Let's go, dog. Jamaican-American actor, singer, songwriter, producer, Ruben Shaw is in Jamaica to screen his latest movie, Selector. Among Ruben's list of achievements in the arts, movies such as Barbershop 3, The Next Cut, and Dirty Grandpa, as well as many television hit series. Right now, right here on our stage, Ruben Shaw. Ruben, sir. Blessed love. Welcome. Nice. Thanks for having me again. Oh, Reggie, it's so good to have you. Yeah. All right. So, so talk, first of all, some up for those who don't know you. Did you make any new? Yeah. Um, well, for those who don't know, I am the eldest grandchild of Denry Morgan, mm -hmm. nephew of the great Morgan Heritage on LMS. Yes. And Mother and father come from Jamaica, Marabana, Spanish town, yes. father born in Kingston. And um, I was, I'm born in the States, but I've come back throughout my life, so deeply rooted in my culture, so mm -hmm. to say, you know. Big achievements for you. What are the big standouts? Yeah, I mean, you just named a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Barbershop 3, you know, Ice Cube, Nicki Minaj, great movie. Um, Dirty Grandpa with Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. and um, I just released my first feature film that I produced, directed, called Selecta, mm -hmm. which is now on Tubi, um, which streams throughout the United States and Canada. You can download it on the Fire Stick, or go up on the VPN to access it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's so many different things that I've accomplished. It's hard to say which one's bigger than the other. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm just fortunate, you know. And, and you're still growing, ascending. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and in terms of the, the, the various talents mm -hmm. as an artist, yeah. who's, which is winning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right now, right now, the actor, the filmmaker, yes. he's winning. Oh, wow. He's winning. But um, the music... The music guy got a little bit something to say about that too, so yeah. we might come back again with some more tunes and we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll really see what happens, man. It, it's it's hard it's hard it's hard to figure out the balance between both. Did you make any new is it an an advantage or a disadvantage in Hollywood? <sighs> it's an advantage for Jamaican roles, mm -hmm. but it's a disadvantage being that when they find out I'm Jamaican and you know, the opportunities, the, the opportunities kind of change a little bit. You know, they want to give that, the black American his opportunity before me or mm -hmm. the European actor, the opportunity before me as if I couldn't play the same characters the same way. Uh -huh. um, but I don't let it shake me. I just keep going to the auditions and 
whatever opportunities come my way, I take it and I, I make the most of it. But it's definitely a challenge. I mean, one, one thing that they do respect is that when we get, when we get the opportunities as Jamaicans, yes. we do our thing. Mm. So everybody's like, yo, one Jamaican are the oddest working people. Mm. That's what they say in America ah. with, within everything that we do, whether it's them being nurses, if we're teachers, actors, musicians, when we do get the opportunities to shine, the American people do recognize and say, yo, we're not the best. So what's the issue? Why, why then do they not want to, they prefer to go to the, the people from the developed countries over, over the Jamaican? Is it enough of these, uh, the, the employers of, of your <laughs> talent don't I, know, enough of them don't know that Jamaicans are very, very good at, at, at topping yeah, yeah. in any uh, vocation. I just think that, you know, that in those industries in, in the United States, they, they like to keep their culture. Yes. That, that's theirs. That Hollywood is theirs. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And um, it just doesn't belong to us. So when we come in and we shine and we take over, right? when a Jamaican does something, everybody notices. It takes away from this mm. person or that one there. You know that Jamaican one? That's how, the Jamaican guy, that's how they start reacting to it. So I'm not saying that they, you know, putting us down, but I'm saying, you know, they want to preserve what's theirs, which is fine. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've started making my own films. Right. Made my own film company. So I could give the opportunities to people like me, the Jamaicans and the Caribbean people who's not getting the real opportunities to shine. So that, that reality is more inspiration for you. Absolutely, not. yeah. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. What do you make of the, the film, the Bob Marley One Love film? Yeah. Um, it's two different ways I look at it. Mm -hmm. I look at it in the perspective of the filmmaker, yes. the actor, and understanding Hollywood and how Hollywood operates and how movies operate. And then I look at it as a Jamaican you know, who knows the culture. I come from one of the royal families of music. Yes. So, you know, obviously we want our stories to be told correctly, mm -hmm. um, unblemished uh, and truthful. So I look at it in those two ways. Um, I've heard a lot of backlash from it, positive and negative. Um, but I think that it's, it's, it's great. It's great to have a movie that, you know, gives acknowledgement to our people, mm -hmm. especially our figures who have done incredible things and shifted and changed the world in certain ways. Oh, yeah. Now, you can only do so much creating a movie, you know what I mean? And with Hollywood, they spend so much money, they gotta make certain decisions and choices that's gonna make sure that Whatever they put out, they're going to get that money back in some way, shape, or form. So, um, you know, I, I, they didn't use a Jamaican to play Bob or, you know, they didn't hire certain soldier Jamaicans to play. I hear that and I feel that. People don't, I, I'm not going to lie, I, I actually did an audition for the movie too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so okay. it's not that they didn't seek out, they did seek out Jamaican talent. But you see, the bosses, the decision makers, they're the ones who have the final say. So ultimately, I think we got to just let go of the fact that, oh, a Jamaican, a Jamaican didn't play Bob or the accent never right. It's, it's not the real Bob Marley in there. We're, we're depicting the story. Mm -hmm. Let's go out there and support it. We finally got to Hollywood. Ah. This is only the first one. And now that we see what they do with it and we've used our voices, the next one that's come after that and the next one that come after that, we're going to do it better. Ah. You know what I mean? And there's other ways to do it. So, but if we didn't do it th this way first, it wouldn't have opened the doors for the future. Okay. You know? That brings me to, s to your selector. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speak of that now. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Yes, talk about it. Well, Selector is a movie. We call it a dance hall movie. Mm -hmm. But it's really um, loosely based off my father, who was a DJ in the 90s, top celebrity Rob them dude Colin. Mm -hmm. He DJed um, in Springfield, New York, and Connecticut. And he used to go to VP, buy the records, spin at the nightclubs, and on the radio. So I kind of wanted to, you know, acknowledge and showcase that life mm -hmm. of the Jamaican coming to America, trying to make it, trying to be a DJ on, you know, staying out, try to stay out of trouble. It didn't really go too deep in what the parties is like and all that, but the lifestyle that one must live in order to make it in America as a Jamaican. Mm. And this movie, it highlights that experience in such a way. Lots of music all over it, I suspect. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great music on it. It's not, it's not so much of a musical like a sound of music, mm -hmm. but we were able to include some great music from a lot of great artists, Jamaican artists, just to name a few, LeBron, Color Reds, Laza Morgan. You know, got some good music in there and, and, and that's what we need to be doing. That's how you make, that's how you make the magic happen. Mm -hmm. You fuse the film, the story, and the music all together to show who we are. You're also participating in the music conference. Yes. IMC, right? Yes, I had the opportunity to speak on a panel about the new music genres of the Caribbean, um, which it was incredible. Um, I thank Miss Burke and Miss Bartley for the opportunity to mm -hmm. speak out there and giving us that platform to be able to deliver those messages and to be able to, you know, share knowledge. Yes. And the knowledge of the music industry and the film industry and whatever it may be has to be taught to the, to the people here. Mm -hmm so that we don't find ourselves in situations where we're getting taken advantage of mm -hmm. with our art or our, our art is being taken away from us mm -hmm. and put into other cultures, you know what I mean? That's, that's not good. So I had the opportunity to go and speak and it, it was awesome. And I, I, I hope more people would take the opportunity to come to events like these to educate themselves and to support the different things that we do here on our island, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely, brother. Ruben. Bless. Blessed love, sir. One love. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we look forward to all the big things that you're going to bring our way. Mm -hmm. And when you come again to our stage. Yes, sir. Bless up. You know, if I'm for me, all do. of them. We'll do. Everybody, brother. All right, so that's him. Ruben Shaw right here on our stage. Still to come, Tifa heading in a new direction in music. And later, our review of BRT Weekend. Weekend number one. On stage with Winford Williams. Dancehall artist Stiffa is headed in a new musical direction. And comes to our stage with details and a new track. Stiffa, <laughs> welcome. Thanks for having me again. So good to have you. All right, so the, first of all, this, uh, the direction for us, mm -hmm. speak, speak about this new direction. Well, I remember the last time I came here, I told you that, mm -hmm. you know, lots of things are happening and we were working and we lost 50 pounds and life is, you know, mm -hmm. life is looking up and so on and so forth. So I have new music coming out, a new track coming out. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on something major, on one of those major labels. It's, I've been working extensively with Kemar McGregor and we've been doing some amazing things and I have a major release. Mm -hmm. this weekend and we're going to premiere the video here you're going to get the world premiere yes and that will do in just a little bit but where <laughs> are you based these days i'm between florida and here mm -hmm. i'm between america and here 
So, so you work in the U.S. when you when you're working in it, in your creative zone. You're sometimes Most in times the U.S. there, but I'm I'm here also working. Yes. Because mm-hmm. you know you need a Jamaican flavor to the sauce. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sometimes just being home and in the element just give you a different vibe. So I do work extensively over there, but I'm also here a lot to work in. Yes. And your endorsement deals that you've been that's in, is, are they in, still alive Yeah, that's well? in Florida with Daikal. Because yes. the Daikal, I lost 50 pounds. Oh, yeah? yeah. 50? 50. Mm-hmm. Really? But 50. You don't look like you were yeah. way more than 50 yeah. pounds more than this. Because Jamaican men like thick women. But I'm five foot flat and I, I was way over 200 pounds. But you want to say thick, thick, thick? <laughs> but I, yeah. I can't recall seeing you imagining now. Because it fit you me. 50 pounds more than you. Because it you fit always look like this. No, because it fit me. Okay. Because it fit me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so it's a success there. This, yes. this, this endorsement deal? Yes. Um, and that's, that's for how long here? Yeah? And I'm still working with them. So now we're doing mostly like fertility and men's drugs, men's, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's supposed to be launched for this year now. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm, so it's ongoing. Yes. All right. So, okay. So the project now, mm-hmm. this project is, I'm going to go to the, the premiere in just a little bit. But mm-hmm. when I hear more about the project itself, the wider project. Well, basically, it's my single is basically the lead out single. My single is a big single. It's actually a, a juggling rhythm. Yes. So it's called the requital rhythm. And you're going to have a host of big names, new big names, old big names. That's under rhythm. Um, you're going to have even international people that's under rhythm. Mm-hmm. Um, but my single is the lead out single. Um, the requital rhythm is basically a remake of Dave Kelly's Bones rhythm. Me and them no grounds, but yeah. Right. So that's basically what it is. Mine is a little bit different. It's a, it, it, it has a little R and B swing, mm-hmm. you know, every 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 eight bars. So yeah, I'm basically just I thought the things I'm for the woman because the, the song actually it's called Say Yes. Yes. So if you're independent, if no man I beat you, if life nice right now, say yes. Basically, it's just that walk out woman and say, man, I felt like it was needed in the space. You know what I mean? There are songs out there, yes, but it's singing about sex. It's, it's not giving us an opportunity to feel empowered and we go out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I remember we used to hear a certain song as a woman yeah. and I'm gonna sing that and I'm gonna walk out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's why I did this song because I remembered what inspired it really was when the video came out that was viral and the girl went on the stage and was saying, and I'm playing a song for the woman them. Mm-hmm. So that's what, I, that's what I wanted back. I wanted back a space where it was our zone. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just about back, back, but it was about, yeah, our time now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, many people, I've been asking for that. In yeah, the space. we need it. We need it. All right, so let's take a look at the video right now. Say this, yes. This say yes. This actually is the world premiere. I'm a boat from the gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a leak in my own boat. You're not a chat, girl. You're not a liver boat. Girl, you are a hot smile with your bank account. You're not know, giving me the likes. You're not know, giving me the clothes. I wonder what some girl are study around here. Yeah, but, 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 money for the only that me a chat boat. You know I get my money now. Go, go, see ya. Wine to the BS tic tac and that Girl you clean clean and girl you party fat. fat Take a pretty picture post on Snapchat Talk to big tip boy where you send cash up 70k are up hard the boy get black Spray a Louis V the boy have to buy that 50 50 the plate 10 50 the pilot Mo one go to buy him say babes why not No not them 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 have you wanna things a boy never give you stripe? You are the star, so take a piece for the life. Can't put me in a fight. Me a fi be wild. That's label us notorious. We not trust in a man in that we trust. It if I we serious, play with us. Jump, jump in my fat and truck. Let let me in a pile of dust. We never come last, and we come first. Wine to the BS tic tac and it that. Girl you clean, clean and girl you party fat. Take a pretty picture, post on Snapchat. Talk to big tip boy where you send cash up. 70k are up hard, the boy get black. 
Man spray a Louis V, the boy a fi buy that 50 feet the plane, 10 feet the pilot No one got to buy him, say babes, why not? Girl, pack up your dress and walk out From the girl, 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 lick your nail and mouth You not catch a girl, girl, you not leave a boat house Girl, you a got a smile with your bank account You not do it for the likes, you not do it for the clothes I wonder what some girl lost for the round here Money for the only that me a chat about Get now, get my money now See ya Oh my baby, it's money for you yeah. I wanna hear you say yes, I wanna hear you say yes From you know you're yeah. money up, money up I wanna hear you say yes, I wanna hear you say yes Hey, oh my baby, it's money for you I wanna hear you say yes, I wanna hear you say yes From you know you're money up, money up I wanna hear you say yes, I wanna hear you say yes Say yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 90s in all its glory. <laughs> Updated 90s. Updated 90s. Ah, yeah. So it's it's getting it's getting rotation yet on radio. Is there anybody it's, playing it's it? This is the weekend, yes. Everybody, this is the weekend, everybody's so gonna just, have it. Yeah, fresh. Oh, so everybody's gonna have it. It's spinning right now, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Because mm -hmm. nobody can resist these, these No, the everybody's 90s, everybody's yeah. been asking for it just based off of the snippets that they've heard. Yes. So everybody wants it. Everybody's been DMing, everybody's been DMing Kemar, like everybody wants this track. So yes, I'm just excited it, about it. It's bouncing, it moves you. Thank you. I was moving, even me I move. <laughs> I, I couldn't hold myself. The, the, the rhythm took me. And we wanted to keep it like 90s dance, girls dancing. As I say, yes. it's a walkout anthem for the woman. Them. Say yes. I want to hear you say yes. If you know, say your money up. If you know, say yes, something right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Say yes. Walk out. I hear song. How excited are those who are involved with the distribution and mm -hmm. the production? Um, behind the scenes. Super, super, super excited. Super, super, super excited. As I say, it's spearheaded by Kamar McGregor. He is super excited. He was very, you know, hands-on in, 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 in every aspect of it. You know what I mean? So they're very super excited about it. They're very super excited about bringing back, like, the, the real dance hall, feel the culture out there on that major, major, major level. Yeah. Ah, yes, yeah, so, because people, people have been asking for it. And, and I don't know if... If they are asking for an upgraded or they want the same sound. The same sound. I would hope out an upgraded. An upgraded. Freshness uh, you know, about oh, it. Exactly. Like what's happening here. Exactly. This is fresh, but at the same time, the 90s group. It's groom, familiar. Yeah. yeah, it's familiar, but it's something new. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The eternal 90s, we are calling it now, because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going away. <laughs> so the album, mm -hmm. the, the bigger project is, is about that, that same, it the is, same it flavor. It's the same kind of vibe, vibe, the same excitement. And as I say, you have some big household names, and it's also, um, I acting Shaka has gone viral. That's mm. the track that you see him in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His song, has, his track has gone viral also. So, I mean, there's some huge household names, and the requires already redeem that's coming. Mm. Um, my track is just the lead out track. Yes. You know what I mean? My track is just the, here, here it is. But the rhythm is coming as well as other projects are coming. Look out for um, some, some major collaborations. Mm -hmm. Look out for, just look out for Dance All Niceness, all 2024 with myself, with Kemar McGregor, and with a bunch of household Dance All names as well as international acts. My yeah. kids are asking for fresh Jamaican rhythms, fresh stuff from Jamaica and what they're hearing they're not interested enough. Exactly. And so we're saying that we, it, what I'm trying to know is whether these new tracks now, these, these, these 90s upgrades. Updated? I think so. I think um, they're making updated a Updated 90s tracks are doing it. I think are, they're making it. serving a these markets. Cause it's, so it's okay we have fun in Jamaica no matter what. Mm -hmm. But what about the places where we make money? I think they're making it. Where our kids can, can tour and get, and get paid. I honestly think that 2024, we're going to see a shift. We've mm -hmm. started to see that shift already in terms of the dancehall beats, in terms of people bringing back lick, licking over, but as well as bringing back core drum yeah, bass, yeah. dancehall patterns. We're going to see a shift back. You know what I mean? We had fun with the whole diluted era, and it's time to get back to business now. Everybody had this whole debate about, oh, if Afrobeats is taking over, or if this is taking over, and everybody realized, okay, then. So maybe what we're doing wasn't working. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to shift back to what is. Yes. Real, what is right, the people they want juggling, the people they want excitement, the people they want drum and bass and things that they can dance to and groove to, even if we're speaking about current topics and current situations. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I feel 2024 is going to be, 2024 is going gonna, is gonna to see that shift back to core. And I'm just happy that 
I'm going to be a part of all of it. <laughs> okay. Well, well, my dear, I hope the big labels are, are listening and are willing to come forward. And we know you, anything happened with you, Tifa, but tell us when it happened. Make <laughs> <laughs> sure you come back here and tell us. No, definitely. You know, I always bring it. Of course, and of course, I have to bring the video for you to have the world premiere. Because you always treat me good. You love me. Yeah. Yeah. Bless you. Say yes. So good to have you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Could I never know? I say yes. <laughs> All right. So that's it. That's her in this segment of our show. Stay with us next. BRT Weekend. You don't want to miss that. The first weekend of this particular Jamaican life. You don't want to miss it. Lots of excitement. We'll go back. On stage with Winford Williams. All right, so we are back and ready to take you inside BRT Weekend, the Jamaican staging. Weekend number one. BRT Weekend! BRT, what you're looking at behind me right now is BRT Weekend unfolding at Pearly Beach in Ocheria. Let's go see what's happening on the inside. Born and raised in the U.S. of predominantly Jamaican contents 12 years ago, BRT Weekend was always a mobile party series that pulls fun seekers to various locations across the states and offshore, such as the Dominican Republic and Turks and Caicos Islands. This, the party series' first Jamaican renewal, comes after a very successful debut just last year. Yeah man, Oscar the Swat Attack, I'm here to big up on stage man, Winford, I'm booted up. Be a bad song and drop us off next month man, you know how we are going to take over here man. On stage, we there, don't know, police them say four minutes so Tommy Lee never get for call up the INI, so you don't know, we there still, see? So you rolling with Tommy, what is that like? What is yeah. the relationship? What go happen? There's some collaborations and things on that side. Yeah, you know. Don't say nothing. <laughs> Things in high pipeline. But it feels like to to do such a quick set. Uh, yeah, yeah, only yeah. feel good. Say, <laughs> and 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 for a crowd like this, they were very animated for you. Yeah, man. You want yeah, a man. lot, but you could only give a little bit. Time is special, you know. And sometimes I forgot the energy, and you know, nothing not me. Oh, enough for that, me. I understand. But yeah. me enjoy myself. Still, full enjoy myself. People don't come out happy and. No violence and everybody are going safe. We're going to drive going safe. I don't know. Big up a certain street, all unsafe family. It's a pleasure, you know, as me and them some of my team been at work for my third time. So, growing up and seeing BIT as a big event, as you miss for no some day. Now, in a real life, I perform for the fans, man. Enough people tell me to them fly down for some performance, as you miss. So, it's a pleasure, man, in a real life, you know. Man, you know, I, I the ladies who please at all time, you know. So, yeah, man, we deliver for them, you know. My birthday to a father of um, in April, as you miss. My birthday to the US, I'm um, like, like six dates. BRT I put on the show as well with me as the mayor says so it's all out it's epic enough people have fought out for that one then. Put your hands up in the air Leave your hands up in the air We are True Colors Entertainment Events and we are responsible for putting on BRT We have been putting on BRT for two, two years now Everything that you see here is all True Colors so you provide the infrastructure yes. for the Jamaican Infrastructure, sound, 
the LED screens, the lighting, the whole package. We're based out of Negril, but we're taking over Jamaica. <laughs> Give your views on this one for us. Well, it's a great look and my love, my love, what I say about it's a good, good endorsement for our culture. Yes, sir. For real. And, and your performance tonight, talk a little bit about it. Yeah, because I always come a concert early. Worst when it's an international concert for here when the DJ and them play before me play. Yes. So when me there here, I realize uh, the reggae music I play on the lovers rock. So I decide to make a start with my culture, what make me travel all over the world every weekend. Reggae and lovers rock and it works. You know what I mean? So it's a great look. It's a world look. It's a world look. It's a world look, Mr. William. <laughs> So we have just caught up with the man himself, Mr. BRT. Hans Mullins right here. One big family, one big family. That's what BRT is about. A lot of people think we couldn't do this. People say, how are you doing? Are you going to keep parties two weekends back to back? We prove them wrong. Every challenge, we do it. My friend right here, when I call on him, people try to put him down and improve them, they making more hits than them. And you the BRT about the new generation. And no. big up the people, em. big up the all the artists, they must set it to it, make we do it better now, and I perform better now. Big up BRT, we get the new generation chance. No love. I'm out, me a party. BRT, done. Party, we a party. Two weeks, two weekends, successful weekends. Thank you. Oh, BRT, from here the voice of Valiant, I represent. Zen 2024 BRT, yo, hands. Hands there. You get the wild that day. DJ, um, something chow. Young, from chow. Young Chow was crazy. It was crazy. I enjoy both show. I enjoy craft and 450. I love 450. John Beckford, Miami Carnival. Yes. We're here supporting Hans and BRT. I gotta say, this is one of the best editions that we've ever attended. Oh, wow. No, man, the vibes, the food. The drinks, the service, everything has been on point so far. You mean you yes. beating all the, the destinations in here? Absolutely. With, over where you live? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. With no apology. Jamaica is the best. Ah. Big up BRT. Welcome to BRT. It was, it was good on the first day. Yes. We're expecting a lot more excitement come tomorrow and into next week. We, we'll be here. We have the VIP um, armband, so we'll be here for the entire experience of it. The artist lineup was good. Yeah, yeah man. Um, the crowd was good, vibe was good. Everything was good. Look good, look good. BRT, North Coast boys, we're outside. Coast, it win. Coast. BRT win? Yeah, man, a win, man. They don't miss. On stage. Oh, no, one stage. <laughs> you understand? Big of yourself, win Front for it. BRT, we can only have one party full jar of self, you know, it's a good look, you know. Yeah, watch your eyes come alive, you know. Pearly Beach. Get we get interview. We get interview. We get interview. Come right there. Oh my God. Give oh dear. Pre oh dear. Review now. <laughs> of, of of tonight's proceedings. Yes. Great proceedings. Great selecting. Great performance by 450. Big up schemas. Big up Dino. Mm -hmm. You see me? Oh yeah. A great overall Not experience. Short. Not too short. Just about right, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, you know, it's building his audience, so you know, just give them the, the darkness song and make the people them know. And yeah, I mean, them schemas. Giving him hits, mm -hmm. yes. which is good. 450 gave his hits, yeah. mm -hmm. which is good, you know, yeah, good. give the people them wanting and them get a little encore too, yeah. so that's nice, yeah. yeah the females got their songs and then the guys got their songs as well, so everybody enjoyed it and we had a great time, yeah. Big up Dina, big up Schemas. <laughs> one Schemas. Schemas, one, 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 one. You know what I mean? Yo, this is an honor, one win for this is an yes, honor, honor. All over. an honor. Yes. Honor fix, have you? Bless you. Thank you. Bless Bless up, up, yeah, <laughs> I had a good time. I like again? the music. Yeah, I did it last year. Uh huh. And I'll do it again next year. Okay. And I'll be here next weekend. Sashi is back in Jamaica very soon. And we're looking at one of the principals of the event. And he's going to tell us now what he's doing at BRT weekend and what to expect at the return staging of Sashi. We are enjoying a beautiful weekend at BRT weekend and love the vibe of BRT weekend. 
but you must visit Sashi. Must come to Sashi. May 23rd to 27th. Sashi is most phenomenal, the greatest show on earth. One Sashi. May 23rd to May 27th. Sashi. Buster Rhyme, Keisha Cole, Neo, the whole Zimmy crew, murder. Start with telling us who you are, your name. My name is Charlene Gitchi. I'm from the beautiful Jamaica, straight from St. James, Montego Bay. Okay, and you're here because? BTR weekend. <laughs> okay. You can't miss it or what? Have you no. done any overseas? Well, I haven't done any overseas, but I did it last year. Yeah, you did yes. here in Jamaica last year? Yes. And, and clearly you're falling in love with it? Falling in love with it. Okay, so you're doing the entire run this year? Yes, I'm doing it. All events? All events. Okay, so basically my first time BRT weekend. Um, I'm coming here for work, but I'm also here to play as well. And I enjoyed myself, you know, Marshall had a great set. I never know so much energy really put out in them in 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 performances. And the fact that they have the backup dance to them, the youth them and the girl them, and it was really a good vibe. And the people actually come here for have fun and for play. And that's what I love, because sometimes you pick up some crowd and boy, them just kind of thinky thinky. But the foreigners who came here, they came here to have fun. They never mind getting wet up, they never mind, you know, rolling at the ground. And this is what I said to the Jamaican audience, especially to the dancehall community. That is why Soka is just beating us bad right now. Because we kind of, everybody get dolly down and the youth them just come there for just wear off them name brand new and nobody's really enjoying themselves now. And when we come here so and see what people are doing at Soka and afraid to forget dirty and grimy and just have fun and leave wet up and ear pull up, I'm like, this is our dancehall need. The days of when we used to just sweat up, take a picture of them and don't care. So I'm enjoying myself at BRT weekend and I look forward to the rest of part of them. Hopefully, I'm going to get too intoxicated. That was a very explosive, <laughs> hard-working set in the sun in Jamaica. In the hot sun, <laughs> on the beach. Yes. But you know, right now it's a different kind of phase in my career where I have such love for the fans, for the love that they give me throughout. And the funniest thing is the faces keep changing. They have generations of fans, but they appreciate the music. So I just come out there and I want to give them so many of these songs. In 40 minutes I try to do more than 40 songs. A minute of song sometimes, you know? But it's fun to do it like that and to see all different Caribbean people in events like this in Jamaica. It's so really nice. Fans. So the fans feel your, your energy? For sure. For them to be, you know, giving this kind of love to soca music. I mean, you know the struggle that soca had in Jamaica. Especially, we had Byron here doing his thing, laying the foundation. And then it took years for us to kind of find our own. And, um, you know, it's so nice now that the dance and the soca is so closely related. Oh, yeah. That I feel like, you know, People come out to party, that different kind of vibe now. Mm -hmm. We see Jamaica, Trinidad, Guyana, they all here. I tonight to hear the choir boss. Did you hear the choir out there? Yeah. <laughs> Singing along to everything. Yes, man, it was great, man. It was wonderful. Yeah, man. So, yeah, you, man. so you, the concept of BRT weekend, you say to them, you say to the promoter and to the fans. Of course, I said to Hans. Thank you for inviting me again, man. For yes. making Sanchez shine on a stage like BRT. Because I've been hearing about BRT for years. I never really got a chance to work the show, so I'm honored. I'm honored. And I want him to just continue because it's a good look. I love it, man. Yes. To the fans, you say? I say just keep loving Sanchez, yo. Without you, there's not a me.
not even a reason I should continue in this field. So thank you for loving Sanchez and just continue. Fire! I love this girl, oh my damn, she's so beautiful and Jamaica, love you! Don't think you can do it. 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 Don't think you can do From the people that enjoy themselves, there it is. You know what I mean? And that way I deal with it. We want people happy, you know what I mean? We want them still know the value of the music as well. And we want the world to still know that reggae music and dance hall is still alive and well, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yes, we enjoyed the night today. It was really great. It was full of energy. Cape Town did his thing. Mm -hmm. It was really good. The way a sizzler bun it, give you a good performance. You get to deal with him catalog decent. You see me? You get to give you all of the old school songs that we love. Cape Town come in and bun it up. Real fireman, you don't know. Sanchez, you already know. Your ladies, them love it. So everything went perfect. No, 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 no. It's a fire night. Down. So the fireman yeah. have to close the show. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. get what me? Right. Yeah, with right. the fireworks, you're right. you're right. with all of the fire on the stage you're and all of the right. fire where my right. bun. Overall, everything perfect. Big up Sizzler, big up Capitan, Sanchez, the girls them love you, you have the best songs them, big up, you think tough. You know, say, yo, it's just a different vibe based off of all our events them, you see, just that these persons will come this night with the fire and everything, you see the change, you see, say, yo, I just work when them reach that far. And as a young person in our party, we just appreciate the different, the, the disparity in our generation and our music, and we understand what's going on, and we love the generals them, the legends them, we make you know, say, yo, regular roots. Reggae life, reggae love, that is it. And that's how we wrap weekend number one, BRT Weekend 2024, the Jamaican leg. Next week, weekend number two, starring no other than the warlord Bounty Killer and the king of dancehall, Beanie Man. Wow. Okay, so that's it. A review of BRT Weekend Weekend number one. All right, and that's our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. My hands to the fire, comes he make me strong. He put the food on my table, dancing in my heart of sorrow. 
Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.